Hello everyone and welcome to see my crafting adventures in this episode of my crafting vlog Confessions of a Crazy Craft Lady So today I wanted to get going on one of the projects that I've been wanting to finish for a long time and that's this kind of kitchen towel that I wove on my weaving course this spring and it's made of um, it's made of linen cotton yarn, both the weft and the warp. Weft and the warp are the same yarn except in different colors. I can't remember what the pattern is called right now, but I will try to find it in English and put it down in the description. Um, but it's this kind of Hmm, I don't know how to describe this, but it, it makes like these little bu bubbles or these little stripes that you can make kind of um, with different petals. It was quite easy to make, but it was really fun because it, it gave you a lot of flexibility. But at the same time, it was really easy for a beginner weaver like me to get a nice and interesting pattern, get some color contrasts and so on without actually doing anything too complicated. And I will try to find some pictures from the process of weaving it. I don't really have any video, because that was way before I even had this idea of making any videos, but maybe some of the pictures can be helpful as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hem the ends of this. So I have, it's it's about maybe 40 times 60 after it's been washed. So yeah, now it's, uh, it's been washed. And I finished the ends with a small zigzag just to keep them from fraying any further. And then the next thing I'm do going to do is to just then turn the edges twice per end and pin them in place with these glass headed needles then maybe give it a really really quick steamy ironing just to kind of make the edge flat and nice and easy to sew and then I'm going to hand sew it I don't actually, like I said, I don't actually, I don't actually have a working um, sewing machine at the moment. I know I could borrow one at the library or something, but I thought that it would be fun to try it out by hand just to see how it is done. It's not too long or complicated, so it shouldn't take me too long to finish it by hand. So let's get going, or let's get pinning rather. So what I actually did when I was weaving, I kind of wove it like these edges, so I didn't weave the pattern, there is the pattern, but I kind of stopped doing the pattern at this, at this point and then just wove the straight line so that I could see how wide I wanted the turn to be. And it's supposed to be about 3 centimeters. I don't know, it could be a little bit more because I had to make some some space for the cutting but I think after it's turn it should be about one it, uh, one centimeter turn each so I'm going to turn it twice like this and then take a pin and hopefully not drop all the pins making sure that the end is tucked in there as well and 
pin it in place for now. I can kind of adjust the pins later if I want, so I'm not too worried. And also because it's going to be a uh, kitchen towel, it's not going to be like very visibly. I mean, it's it's mostly for practical use, so it doesn't really matter what the edges are, like as long as they are kind of presentable. I'm trying to get the this color line to work though. It would be really handy if I had my pin cushion finished already. Huh? I didn't pin it through. So as you can see, the edge is quite thick, but if I had woven it with a bit thinner yarn, uh, once I turned it over, it would be much thinner, which is how they used to do it back in the day. But because this one, I just want to use the same yarn that I already had all throughout. I try to make it thinner by just using the straight pattern instead of the actual bubble pattern. But it's still pretty thick, but it will be fine. Okay, so here we have it pinned. Okay, so now that we have the pinning out of the way, you can see that I added at one of the ends this kind of cotton strip ribbon tape, whatever you call it, um, just to have something to hang it from. And it's attached to like to go under the turn. And because uh, and And as I said, I will be hand sewing it. I unfortunately couldn't find our iron, so we'll have to tempt the fates and see how it goes, even without ironing it first. So let's get sewing. And because I'm stupid and I want to tempt fate, I made my thread way too long, so I'm probably going to curse myself for the next hour or so. So I'm going to be back stitching it just a few millimeters away from the the edge of the turn and I could just do a whip stitch as I think most is most common commonly used but I want this to be an extra durable nice um, stitch so it's going to be a bit more visible, but because it's the same color as my weft yarn, it shouldn't be too obvious anyway, so... Here we go.
And this is where I noticed I've done the stupid thing and started with stitching on the wrong side. And also I'm going in the wrong direction, so I have to do 180 on my project and still try to keep the needles in place. So good job Tina. So what I'm doing here is I take the needle and get it back to where I started the stitch on the previous step so that on this side like which is the back side it shows a quite heavy straight seam um, but hopefully on the right side which is the other side it doesn't actually show the steam as uh, the seam as strongly so so on this side it shows quite well and hopefully I can keep it like fairly straight checking by the by the weft lines but on this side it's it's much more invisible And it should be quite strong, so even if it's uh, if, even if the towel is washed many times in the washing machine, it still it should still keep uh, keep the seam straight and not fray that much for years. We hope, but yeah, you can see I'm not really a very practiced hand seam stress. But this is good practice. In almost every sewing project there will be some parts that you can't do by machine, so eventually you have to do at least something by hand. So it's better to get comfortable by actually doing some hand sewing, so that's what I'm doing. magic happened and instead of just one towel I actually have two towels to show you so this one is the one that I finished earlier and it's actually finished by machine at the library and it's the thread that I used for this is just regular gray and this is actually linen weft in the same warp as the other towel so it's a bit different it already shows a bit different from the kind of shine that the linen gives it. It was a very suspicious linen, so to say, because it was this at this kind of shop that I don't usually go, and this brand that I usually never use. So I was very suspicious of the linen, but linen is quite expensive, so I was like, well, let's try it. And here's the end result. I think it's quite nice and as you may see there are already some stains because this has actually been used in our kitchen for the past three months already and I love it. It's so good. It's going to be so good and it's the perfect size and it's really nice colors and if you really look very carefully, I don't know if it actually shows on video, I will do some close-ups uh, soon but you will see that there is a little bit of mending here because sky happened when I brought it home and I had to fix it. 
So this is the one that I just finished. And as you may get, maybe see, I even ironed these guys for you. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, I also wanted to show the weave pattern a little bit better. So I think ironing helped with that. But so both ends are now finished by hand. Um, and as you can see, well, maybe you can't see yet, but I will do magic. And anyway, they're both finished. And there's like a little thing that you can hang things from. So this is it. And I have to be completely honest. I think that like the minute or the second that I'm putting this uh, the video off recording, I will just go and hang this on my kitchen hook thing where I hang the towels because I want to get to use it already. I've been waiting for you many months. Okay, so here is the exhibit A, aka the towel that I just finished. And as you can see, it has kind of three different types of pattern. The main one is the one in the middle with like kind of mm, kind of greenish pattern. Then you have a bit longer ones and at the very end you have the kind of short bubble like shapes. And then you have the hem. And the weave is called in Finnish Leppalina or Leppasidos. And it's very popular for all kinds of home textiles such as towels or pillows or tablecloths or anything like that. And I couldn't really find a word for it in English, but it's basically made of um let's see if i can zoom in but it's basically made of these alternating rows of regular plain weave and then rib weave and then you kind of alternate it which one is the one at that time Okay, so this second towel, once again from the back side, I'm not going to go into in as much detail because it's basically the same, except it has the same pattern all throughout and it just has these stripes of white and pink with the mostly gray layout. But if you really look closely, luckily you really have to look closely around there where I zoomed you can see that there's actually a little bit of the fabric that has been mended thanks to certain dogs and what happened there is that I came home like basically the day after I had brought these home and Sky, who was then much younger than she was now so about seven months maybe uh, she had found these amazing pieces of cloth that she loved and she really wanted to play with them so she started just kind of dragging them around and I ended up with a hole the size of my fist on the towel that I hadn't even had time to finish by then so what I did was just kind of take some of the weft yarn that I had and weave it or kind of mend it with the regular plain cloth weaving type. I didn't want to or I couldn't follow the pattern because it was a bit complicated with the rib pattern or the rib weave but with regular plain weave it worked pretty well. 
and then uh, when I went to the library to finish these seams by the uh, or with the machine I just kind of stitched over it with like an embroidery setting and let's see if I can actually get any of the detail to show Funny story concerning these towels is that um, around the time when I was weaving these and I was just obsessively talking about towels and hand towels and weaving and everything like constantly at home, one day my partner woke up and said to me, Tina, I had this weird dream. Do you think that it could ever happen? I'm like, oh, never know. Tell me about it. And he apparently he had this dream where he had washed his hands and started looking for a hand towel to dry the hands but couldn't find any of them anywhere. Then he came to me and asked like, Dina, where are all of our towels? And I was like, oh, I threw them away. We only use handmade towels anymore. Only towels that I have woven myself and made. Um, at that time, we only had this one. So it was the only towel in the house and I made him use it and he was like, Tina, please, let's, let's don't do that in real life. I'm like, I can't make any promises if I go crazy and just do towels and towels and towels. Eventually we will, feel, uh, we will end up with a lot of towels. So the idea has merit, I think. But no, for now we still use mostly whatever towels that you can get from the store but like I said there is an evil plan coming together in my mind okay so I hope you enjoyed this a little bit more crafty video maybe than the previous one and maybe got inspired to weave your own towels as well hope to see you at my next video and if you have any comments or stories to tell or share or any dreams you've seen about hand towels or if you have decided to throw all your hand towels out then let me know in the comments or write me an email or something i will be really happy to hear from you anyway have a really nice day and goodbye What is she doing? She's whooping her tail on the ground. I'm doing it. Not. The yarn or... Sky, did you eat her mom's towels?